a sinister shadow over the reef. And one more clownfish who won't be coming home. The divers must be careful not to damage the fish. A damaged fish will be worthless. And they also need to leave a breeding population on the anemone, so there'll be fish to harvest next time the diver visits this reef. In a day, a collector can hope to gather a fair crop of fish, a good supplement to their regular income from more traditional fishing. Most anemones are within the range of a freediver. That's because, like plants, anemones need sunshine. Living only in shallow water, within their tentacles are microscopic single-celled algae that, like all plants, photosynthesize, creating energy from the sunlight. In the Hollywood blockbuster, young Nemo strays too far from his home anemone, is netted by a scuba diver, and ends up in a tank in a dentist's surgery. His devoted father, helped by an ocean full of charismatic sea creatures, makes an epic journey to save and be reunited with his son. What's happening here is the exact same scenario from the film. But for these fish, it's the beginning of a chain that even Nemo's dedicated father couldn't hope to follow. The start of a very long journey by boat, road transport and jet plane that will eventually end in a fish tank in someone's house somewhere in the United States.